Welcome and very excited to see you all for dinner 13 the conference day. Happy to have you all here. We're hoping you find your way into the live stage, came back, had a nice lunch at home in your favorite spot or wherever around the world. And we're here to, off, uh, to kick off the conference officially. We already had a long day of workshops yesterday and the newcomer session and newcomers part this morning. Um, my name is Patrick Busman. I'm the chair of the Dino GV board. I have Moritz with me, who is the head of the PC committee and a Dino board member as well. I want to give you a couple of introductions before we get started with our speakers and then hand it over to them for the more detailed content of the day. So, you found your way into Venulis. Venulis is your new home for the next two days. Uh, view it as a conference place, as a hotel or whatever you like it to be. Uh, all events take place here. Uh, you find all of your information in the navigation on the left side. I'll not do the hands again because I'm completely confused where left is in my life here. So um, if you have any questions, you find a help desk channel on the bottom, uh, reach out and talk to everyone. A few things on housekeeping. We have a tight agenda. We'll stick to the agenda. We'll start on time, so please be on time as well. Uh, for those of you who selected the t-shirt and the goodie bag, um, the t-shirts and goodie bags have been sent out. Everything that was uh, clicked after the deadline, the last minute tickets, all of those t-shirts will be shipped after the conference. The DNA community is an open and inclusive environment. So please treat each other with tolerance and respect. Uh, we encourage free speech and open exchange of ideas, but please keep that on a professional and not on a personal level. If you have any issues, you feel harassed or threatened by anyone, please reach out to the board. Uh, you can either reach out to Vorstand at dnoc.de or use one of the uh, first names at dnoc.de, so Patrick or Moritz or anyone else of the board. There are social emojis on the live stream. Please make extensive use of them to give feedback to the presenters uh, and everyone involved. And again, if you have questions, uh, use the channel hashtag helpdesk or email us at event at dnoc.de. We would really like to thank our sponsors without whom that would not be possible here at all. Uh, first and of all, our diamond sponsor, IPHH but also our platin sponsors, DKIX, Corp Backbone and Flex Optics, as well as our support sponsors and our location and streaming sponsors. Dinox 13 is unfortunately virtual again, but we want to see how you're attending. We want to see what you're doing throughout the day. We want to see how you receive it. We want to see your feedback. So please use the hashtag Dinox 13 uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, anywhere else where you're doing this and show us how you're attending so that we can share this with a wider group on the social media wall uh, that you can see on the front page of Venulus. Also, we have a new feature where we're trying to replica replicate the meeting a random new person on a conference floor outside in the coffee bar or anywhere else what you usually have on con conferences. It's called Meet a Random Attendee. You can find it on the left side again and you can get to know new members or meet old uh, peers that you haven't talked to for two years by now. Just go into the Meet a Random Attendee section, start a call and get connected automatically with somebody new. Uh, this will reset and then you can meet a good amount of people in the breaks or when you have spare time to choose. We will have a virtual social again tonight at 5 p.m. until midnight. You can find the social button in the menu as well as doors open at 5 p.m. Also, Dino Givi is having a general meeting on Wednesday at 5 p.m. The room invite will be not in Venulis, this will be Zoom. The invite will be sent out within the next couple of days ahead of the general meeting time. Uh, voting links will be sent out shortly to the members of DNOC EV. Uh, everyone who is a, a DNOC EV member is capable and elected to vote. Um, if you haven't received the voting link by 3 p.m. today, send a message to Malte 
Um, and we will obviously announce as well on the mailing list once the links have been sent out so that everyone is informed. More information on the general meeting you can find on the DNOC.de webpage under the bottom governance. And we will have board election for five out of six seats. Uh, so we're, ha we're looking for candidates on that. Um, more information you can find on the members list on everyone who has already applied as a candidate. If you want to become a member of DNOC EV and support what we're doing, you can find more information on www.dnoc.de. A couple of facts about DNOC 13 in 2021. We have 747 attendees up to this point, including 36 students, which once again makes DNOC 13 the biggest DNOC ever. Uh, and we're highly appreciative of that. So thank you for that. And thank you and welcome everyone new who hasn't been here so far. So on Sunday, out of that, we already had 301 people checked in. Up to now, we have roughly 438 people checked in. Uh, so a good amount of people still yet have to find their way here and show up. Um, our attendees come out of 13 countries at this point. We've shipped over 500 shirts uh, ahead of this meeting and we have 16 corporate ticket sponsors until this point. Thank you very much for your contribution as well to DNOC and the community. So unfortunately DNOC is virtual again. We were set up and ready to run the conference in Hamburg and we had high expectations that the pandemic would be over at this point. At least we had high hopes and one can hope until the last minute, but at some point one has to make a decision in how to change that. So in August, we ran a survey with all of you and we really appreciate your feedback there. Unfortunately, the outcome out of the feedback and the information that we got from the local host and all the information we got from the regulation and government basically gave us a clear indicator. There A is no good way to make everyone happy because the community was roughly split into 50-50 of how to do that. And if we would do it, it would come with an enormous amount of hassle and we all believed it would not reflect the spirit in which we want to see the Dino community to meet and allow us to have the great forum where we can exchange information and meet peers over beer in the evening. So we, at the end of the day, we had to make the hard decision of going virtual again. We're hoping that by beginning of next year, we can slowly ramp back into meetups over the year where we can meet in person and that in November next year uh, we will be able to have DNOC 14 finally in person again. Uh, the good indicator here was I believe we were above 90% uh, of the attendees of the survey and therefore the community that was already vaccinated so we're significantly above the average in Germany and throughout most of Europe. That was very impressive and good to see. So with that, uh, the important information is we had voting going on for DNOC 14 in the city throughout the last weeks. Uh, that ended, I believe, two weeks ago. And we will announce the outcome out of that at the closing talk on day two tomorrow. Two or three things in review of 2021. We had three virtual meetups, unfortunately only virtual, but Nevertheless, we had roughly 150 to 200 attendees each, which was a really good outcome and gives us a good indicator of where this can potentially go uh, if we go back to local meetups. We had great socials where the community could meet during the year. And we actually started a second uh, meetup season uh, series for leadership and uh, people management within tech companies. So overall, uh, unfortunately, a virtual year again, but quite good, nevertheless. And with that, I'll hand it over to Moritz for the welcome of the PC. Thank you, Patrick. So yeah, welcome to DNOC 13 and welcome from the program committee, um, which I'm speaking on behalf of. The program committee itself con uh, consists of Florian from Arista, Kai from uh, BKIX, myself, Richie from Grafana, Sebastian from Deutsche Telekom, Stefan from AKIX, Theo from Interlink, Tim from One Fiber and Wolfgang of DKIX. So thank you all to those PC members. Uh, we will get to how you can contribute to the PC in a while. So when we are uh, in the process of reviewing the call for papers, we, we have to ask ourselves, what content are we looking for? 
mainly, of course, and this is something that the community has loudly told us and is very appreciative of, is that we do not do any marketing or product marketing talks. There is no way for a sponsor to present at DNOC other than going through the PC, and we will not make any uh, yeah, sacrifices for them so that they can speak uh, in order to advertise anything. Obviously, we have companies presenting here, but those are all presenting technological topics. So one, no marketing. Second, we have to find a way to find diverse technology topics. Obviously, at some points, uh, technology X, let's say it's segment routing this year, is, is the hot uh, topic of the, of the uh, year. But we can't have five talks about segment routing in one conference. So we try to limit this to one or two, try to group them nicely so that people who are interested in, say, segment routing can attend there. Uh, but the other talks should not be solely about one topic. And I think we made a great effort here. And also something we would like to bring forward are non-technical perspectives. So not only technology X, but also how are policy developments going? Is there something regulatory that might affect the whole community? Is there something in politics going on that will affect in special the German landscape or even international? Do we have any management topics that would bring us on a, a more broad level? Um, Anything about that is welcome, and we would love to see more submissions of those types. We have a few and had one or two in the last years, which was great. But if this is something that sounds familiar to you and you're not that about talking deeply about technology, you're also very welcome uh, to present at DNOC. Something else that is very dear to my heart, and this is, well, something I struggled with. I joined DNOC, I think, seven years ago and did know nothing about networks. I knew how to hold a switch and where I could plug in the cable, but I didn't know where VLAN, uh, what a VLAN was and so on. And I really didn't find an opportunity to learn something. And so during the time at DNOC, uh, it, I became attracted to many topics and did quite some research alone. And we want to change that. We want to have people explain to others, because obviously networkers do not grow on trees. Um, we have to encourage talks about basics. What is BGP? What is a VLAN? What is uh, X? How, how does routing security work and in an approachable way? We can't just tell people, go ahead and implement RPKI. It's not that hard. Take the people by their hands, give them a workshop, give a small introductionary presentation. And so also, if, you are, if you're passionate about any topic and want people to stop using class-based networking, for example, then please speak up, give a presentation on how uh, classes interdomain routing works or anything else. So please, if, if you feel like you have nothing new to share, but are very passionate about topic X, come to us, talk to us. We will happily help you make a presentation. And we're also happy to mentor you during this presentation. So yeah, with all that said, we had 36 submissions this year, which is great, which is a up of 10 submissions compared to last year. We had 26 submitters and six workshops. The final agenda took 227 reviews, a few calls uh, for the PC, and then we came up with what we have today. So thank you again to everyone from the PC who contributed to this program and this agenda we have here. Workshops themselves, as Patrick already spoiled a bit, are becoming more important. We have 301 registrations last year, and looking back at DNOC 12 or even DNOC 11 is a huge increase. And it's also something that we've, we've only recently implemented. Why workshops and why are they important? Obviously, diving deep into the technology would be great. But sometimes members of our community actually want to get in touch with when they're X, want to know how technology X, which is when a proprietary works, uh, or how when X sees something. And so obviously, we don't want this on stage at Enoch because 70% might not like the technology vendor X presents. But we want to offer anyone a way to get hands-on experience with something they couldn't do in their day job. Maybe even their day job wouldn't allow them to be networkers because they are, I don't know, database administrators in the daytime. So workshops are a way for you to get hands-on experience with a new technology, maybe with a new vendor, and offer a place to dive deeply into a technology. And obviously, workshops are opt-in opt in rather than a single stage event which you have to uh, join. So I hope you all enjoyed the workshops. The feedback we've received so far was pretty great. So um, yeah, looking forward to more of them. Also to, to anyone thinking about hosting a workshop, definitely do. We have quite some workshops that have sold out during the event and we would love to offer anyone uh, a workshop who wants to attend. So yeah, 
if this all sounds interesting to you and you want to help us find that content, if you have good contacts in the industry and uh, know some people who would like to present but don't know their way around, please talk to me on Venulus. You can either just uh, send me a direct message here or reach out to moritz at denok.de and we will sure find a way for you to join the pro uh, program committee or find another way to contribute to DNOC. You'd really appreciate it. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the help desk channel at any time. We're here for you. Um, dear speakers, if you want to test your setup or haven't yet reached out to us, please send that a quick uh, note of life uh, to the DNOC Orga user in the uh, direct messages on Venueless. Um, and as Patrick already mentioned, compared to last year, we will stick to the agenda, meaning if a talk starts at half past one, we will start at half past one. So you might expect some minor breaks this year. I hope this is uh, better than last year. We had a lot of feedback of people uh, trying or would, who would appreciate a uh, more reliable agenda more rather than a condensed uh, blocks of talks. So we'll try to do this this year and see how you like it. Obviously, if you don't like it, we will have feedback forms up again. So let us know. And one question which will obviously be coming and has probably already been on the chat, I haven't been there, is the intro music. So, the intro music. Um, we don't know where it comes from. We were on an event in, uh, well, in Brandenburg in, uh, in 2019, back when events were still a thing, and we got this beautiful car. And in this car was a tape. And it was the only tape in that tape deck, so we had to listen to it. And this music was on it. It caught our hearts and we, we loved it so much, we wanted to bring it to you. But the most important part about that music is that we want to know what it is. We don't know that song. We've tried everything, we've been pitching it for years, and no one was yet able to tell us the song. So please, if you know that song, send me an email to moritz.denok.de and I will personally give you a bottle of gin or something else if you don't drink alcohol. So yeah, with all that said, have fun. We will now, as we promised, stick to the agenda, so we'll have a bit of time to grab a new coffee, and then we will hand it over to Stefan and Christian and learn a bit about BNG Blasters. Thank you very much, and yeah, see you at the next talk. Until then, goodbye.